We are in day four of the Asia Champions League for the East region. We have high five against No Show. So Taiwan against Korea. And we're on the new patch as well. So we see if you see some changes for this new patch. Um, Oshifu nerfed, Scyther nerfed, but looks like that might still be just prioritized, even after the nerfs. And that's our first Hoopa. I think we have been waiting for this. There's the Hoopa got insane buffs on the latest patch. Lower cooldown reduction on Unite move. And also Phantom Force now working on everything. So that's our first Hoopa. Again, new patch. It's going to be exciting. And High Five can be first place right here. If High Five wins today, they're going to take the first place in the Korean, Japanese and, you know, Taiwanese group. So that would be huge. If they could beat out all the Japanese and Korean teams today and take first place. Which means they already qualified for the offline tournament instantly. You have a guard chomp on the side of High Five. And a Blastoise. Wow, they're so tanky looking. But there's still Scyther there, of course. This did give some nerves, but it's a very strong Pokemon. Slowbro no changes, so obviously, is very good. And we have a Trevenant. Maybe we have a Trevenant, actually. Interesting as well. So I might pick up Soul here. Does he pick up? I mean, Absol is quite. That's not good into what they have, right? Greninja instead. Okay, Greninja. We have a Trevenant, and he is currently rocky, rocking the Rocky Helm. Uh, he's rocking the Rocky Helm, guys. Interesting. Is he gonna stick with the Rocky Helm? It looks like it. And a potion. Okay, interesting. Rocky Helm, Trevenant. I mean, maybe it's good against... The enemies have four melees, right? And they have uh, three physical attackers. So honestly, it could be quite interesting. And there we head into the first match of the day. Again, you can see in the top three wins for high five and zero losses, which means they are almost clean sweeping their group now if they win this today. And uh, we have a Fanup and a Shenzi heading top. And Hoopa looking for... Let me just... Actually, are they going to also do give the rep buff for two Hoopas? That's probably going to be very strong. On the last patch, we saw a lot of Edegosses getting the rep buff for early game experience. And now I think it's just going to be Hoopa as well doing that, because Hoopa's auto takes are very, very annoying. Especially early game. I actually didn't quite check what items he had, but you normally play Muscle Band and Rapid Fire Scarf. And that with Rep Buff as well, you just can't get away from it. It's so, so strong for top lane. It makes top path so difficult to play for no show. If you're Kuro diving in right here, looking for the little Fennekin. And getting jumped on as well again. They're gonna go for this KO. Full here's being popped by EP. Is he gonna go down another Skybish lands? And that's first KO for the side of 5 5. Already starting strong. They're gonna try to score some points right here. But Shindy is trying so hard to score, and he's gonna go fall. He's gonna go down to the Frokadier. Trying a bit too hard to score there, just couldn't make it through. Exit attacks being popped by Sai. He's on the chase looking for Ikura. Can he find the KO? Not quite. Man, that was a bit of an overextension by the Scyther. I really wanted the score. Honestly, I don't blame him. I probably would have died as well there looking for the score if this was solo queue. So honestly, I can't blame him. <laughs> Blossom are getting engaged on. Scyther's already back in Shin. He's going to pick up this KO. I assume we're going to see double hit now. And no more sword dance after the nerfs. What do you see? Dives in again with another driving beat. Going for this. I, uh, Ingdd as well, but I think he didn't quite get it. Now size on the chase again has to be careful. The Frokadier, obviously until level 7, is quite, quite weak, so you don't want to do that. So do we have Water Bear or Duck still? I think it's still... I'm actually not sure. I didn't see him yet. Wait, did we see him on bot? It's probably still going to be Duck, right? Because that here very strong with the Gabbard. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, yeah, it is Duck. Okay. It's Duck Shifu. It's still very strong, even after the nerfs. The only thing that really changes is you can't knock up multiple targets on the Unite move and you take less more damage while charging up your Vic Blow. Which has some good nerfs, but in the end Vic Blow still does the same damage as before and is great at securing objectives, so... Yeah. The biggest change right now in this game is just having a Hooper. That is for sure. I really want to see what the Trevenant can do. Because I think Trevenant could actually be quite good in this game against this many melees. Ray is going to miss this last hit right here with the big blow, though. Shobo is caught. As I say it, Trevenant is getting caught. He uses the potion, but he's still stuck. But is he baiting them? No, he's going to fall. Scythe is going to claim this KO. He's dropping melee. He jumps back into hyperspace hole. Jumps back in the hyperspace hole and gets away. Wait, he does have sword dance, right? He does have sword dance. Am I, he, yeah, he does have still sword dance. Okay, he's playing no sword dance. Still very good as well. So, not even going for the double hit. Doesn't want to deal with that ability and just rather goes for this sword dance. I mean, Scyther was so strong that, you know, even with the nerfs and more less sword dance, you know, sword dance damage. Probably still quite fine. Dive in again by the Yoshifa looking for Blossom. We just lose his focus band, so... Bad start to the fight for no show right here. And High Five is just gonna go for it again. Therefore, Shifu and Big Blow damage did not get nerfed. So, charging up the Big Blow, that's straight too early though! And it goes over to the Trevenant! Why did he, he charge it up insanely early? Maybe he wanted to combo with someone else. Now Sal is here. They're going to pick up one, two, three. It's only Yoshifu left on the bottom side. Meanwhile, Gabbard is staying top. And they're going to get four KOs. What a mistake by High Five. 
They're gonna get 30 right here as well. Another 30. Go in. And they're gonna have nice overcap right there. Of a lot of points. Taking them to 75. Garchomp, of course, staying top lane. Because Garchomp doesn't really do much early game. So he just wants to farm experience and get ahead of himself, which is very good. But yeah, that was a huge mistake by the big blow, Shifu. I feel like it was just way too early. I mean, they tried to time some damage with it, right? But that was not well done. And now Saldo getting caught! Garchomp is here! A huge overextension by the Greninja, and now Garchomp is going to get one. He's going to get two. He's going to keep on chasing for the Day Fox. The Water Spin, Rapid Spin is there. And they're going to get three. Now Nosho just kind of getting caught in the middle. Shobo also not having much luck right here, I'm pretty sure. Sword Dance is going to chase, now the beat. But he has the Horn Leech into Curse Explosion. <laughs> the Horn Leech comes through, but he just doesn't have enough damage. Doesn't have the damage to take down Scyther. And now this Garchomp is massive. That is a massive Garchomp. 16 going for Hooper, setting it very low. Has the Phantom Force, as we mentioned. Phantom Force, Hyperspace Hole. It's probably going to be the go-to Hooper build for the time now. I think we could also see some Trick Sh Shadow Force. I think Trick Shadow Force could also be very good. I mean, Phantom Force. Especially for, like, dive Pokemon. Because you can always, like, help someone get back out. If you play, I don't know, Greninja or Absol or something, right? You can always dive in. Put down your Phantom Force. And with the Trick, you can port them back out. And keep them alive. There used to be a combo with Halon Flame, Brave Bird, and Phantom Force. That was very good. And Defox kind of caught again. Gets Dragon Rush comboed. Wonderfully done by the Garchomp. Defox just kind of caught up position. He's going to get taken down, but no show's going to look for this top push at least. They're outnumbering top right now. And Scyther defend this. He's getting Horn Leash on through the Scyther. And they're all gonna, just going to run away for now. They'll run away. They'll disengage. What lane Regis has spawned. Neither team is really in position for it, but we have a Hooper. Hooper can always just port the entire team in. You have to get used to this again, that Hooper can just port your entire team around. I think a lot of people will get caught off guard by this. And not realize that Hooper still exists and does this, right? Because now they all port bot lane, they're all here instantly. Thanks to the Hooper. And now only one team can have Hooper, right? This is something we have not experienced before. On the old patch, you pretty much never saw Hooper. And before that, we still had blind picks. So, this is the first time we really see Hooper in ref mode being enabled, which means only one team can have Hooper. Only one team can Hooper have, uh, have Hooper, and it's going to be a huge advantage for the team that obviously has it when it comes to portling around the map. Garchomp caught right here, looking for us just to stay alive, but no, the Horn Leeches are too much stuns. And he's going to get taken down. I thought looking for the spot and push. Scyther using its Unite move. Can you find any KOs? No, they're all going to the Hyperspace portal and go back to safety. No, they're all just from top lane. My Quinn is already getting 50 in at least. That's huge for Sal. He might get caught, though. Does he have smoke screen up? He does have smoke screen. He tries to get away. Shingdi's trying to scout it out. The Surf is not going to get the last hit. And he does get taken down, but I think he doesn't mind. At least he got 50 points in, I guess. I like his team should have been up. To, I don't know where his team went. I guess they all went bot lane, right, to defend. And no one was there top anymore. So he's going to get taken down. Rejeleki still up. And uh, yeah, neither team really cares too much about it. The problem for high five is the goal is at 9. So if they want this Rejeleki to maybe get some value, they can have to finish it off. Garchomp is currently farming for level 15. Garchomp is farming for level 15. That's also going to be uh, very strong in the late game. So BKZ. Showing off the I think you've already seen his Garchomp before. Not the first time he has played the Garchomp. And he's looking good on it. And High Five is looking for bot push. I like this. Like, who cares about Vegeleki? Exactly. This is that's what I yeah, this is what I like. High Five really in a sense this game. They score so many points on top. They try to defend top as well if they can. I mean bot lane. And they only lose some points on top, but they uh, finished off the second goal on bot. Their focus diving very deep, gets hit by the big blow, takes a lot of damage. Garchomp actually diving in with the Dragon Rush, Dragon Claw combo. Can they lock anyone down though? I think the Trevenant has no chance. Maybe the Rocky Ham is going to get a KO. <laughs> I don't know. What? BKZ with a huge eject button Dragon combo. Completely catches Greninja off, out of position, off guard. Also pulls Slowbro back into his team. Red, sadly, the Regilecki goes in and gets the goal first before they can score some points. But man, BKZ is very good on this Garchomp. What a nice eject button. He's level 50 now. Only problem is he, he doesn't have eject button for the last fight now. It's going to be on cooldown. So I hope this doesn't come back to bite him. Eight seconds left. And we have a Hooper still in position. Hooper can just allow backcapping as well now, right? You can actually go backcap and Hooper can always port you back in. So we might see more backcapping again for the Hooper teams. Just gotta make sure that no-show still doesn't just go for the Rayquaza instantly, but yeah. Thanks to Hooper being there, you can always just port your team in and instantly fight. 
Guard jump diving in, but he has the reject button. He gets stunned by the slow bro, and now his team is nowhere in position. The hyperspace ward is there, and he gets into it in time. No, he doesn't. He gets blown into pieces by the Trevenant Unite. Huge mistake by High Five. They're not in position. Sai is gonna take down the Scythe as well, and now Nosho might just be taking this right now. Hooper is also dropping super super low. What can Rashifu do? Not much. He's getting Unite moved on by the Greninja. The Unite move doesn't really do anything, and he's gonna get taken down. No sure can now go for this Rayquaza. What a huge mistake by High Five. I mean, the Garchomp just got a bit too excited, jumps in alone, forgot there's a slow bro. He had such a good game until now. The Bros doesn't unite this there. No, they don't get it. It goes over to No Show. Kenny Kura, get these shields now. Off No Show. They just have to try and get rid of these shields if they can. There's Blissey left who's gonna try and score. I think Blissey can probably make it, unless Scyther makes it that time. The Helping Hand, he's gonna run in. He's gonna score 100 points. And No Show now in the lead, thanks to the 88 of Slow Bro as well. I don't know if Deltox still has a shield. But High Five has 50 seconds left now to make a push happen. They get rid of the shield from Slowbro. And yeah, we still have the Delphox with a shield. He's also going to score another 88 points. Oh, High Five have 40 seconds left to make a push. And they still have to get rid of Del Delphox too, of course. The shield could still be in a shield. And Delphox actually goes for a guard chomp and he gets guard. He gets two! <laughs> he won't be one. He won't be two stem. With the Rayquaza shield and his Mystic of Fire Flame charge. And now it's for sure going to be game. Wow. I mean, I if I've kind of just threw the game away there. Garchomp just going in alone, gets completely isolated by the slow bro. And his team was nowhere to be found yet. If his team is on the same page, it's probably going to be a good team fight because they can just blast this unite on top of the Garchomp. But yeah, Garchomp made a huge mistake there, costing his team probably the game right here. Not probably, it cost his team the game. Some communication issues there. And no show is going to take a 1-0. In this match for now. No show as well. If they win 2-0 right here, they can still get first place in this in this group. So No Show's not out of the run yet for first place. So high five. We really have to be careful now. Heading into the second draft. And we just see Slowbro first pick by No Show. Last game. They just go for it. Why not? Why not just take it off the last game? I kind of won them last game, right? So just go for the Slowbro again. Ushifu. I mean I would like to see a Waterbay Ushifu. Really badly, but I feel like it's not sadly not gonna happen maybe yet. You know, next series. Or is Korea gonna respond to this Oshifu Delfox? They pick the Delfox away. One at this time, and we see a Blissey, of course. Gonna be secured with a Mr. Mime. So as we say got the Mime Blissey being picked here together. Is Serena being considered? I'm really not a big Serena fan. Yeah, they're not going for it. Maybe they pick away Tyranitar from No Show, but Aedagos instead being locked in to make sure we have that support. And we go for the Scyther a second time. So stay sticking to the Scyther. I mean, yeah. Honestly, it probably makes sense. I was hoping to see a few more new things, but again, the balance patch wasn't that drastic, sadly. So, yeah. Wasn't the most drastic balance patch. Game does feel more fair now. There's the Trinitar for that Blissey and Mr. Mime. And the Lucario. Oh my, they are just tanky boys. That's gonna be, I mean, they. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like No Show's team comp though, but wow, that looks annoying to play against. A Krasse? We see a Kr you You won zero down. If you win this match, you go to the first place offline tournament and you pick Krasse? Okay, maybe, maybe, we not, maybe there's something, I don't know. Maybe the Rock Tomb. Is the Rock Tomb gonna be annoying? A Rock Tomb Krasse? Could that be it? Can Rock Tomb cross it? I mean, I assume it's gonna be Rock Tomb, right? Maybe against all these melees to like, just annoy them? Oh wow, look at this, guys. This looks so... This is new. This is new. Wow, look at this. Oh my god, look at the production. Heading into game two. We have a very interesting team comp on both sides. One is almost full melee heavy. They have two all-rounders, two supports, and a slow bro against a Crusher and a lot of damage on the right side. I mean, they have a lot of damage. They have a lot of damage. Let's see what Ikura is going to do with this Krasse. I mean, High Five is the team that always picks Pokemon that are not always played. Like Garchomp as well last game. Um, BKZ likes to play some weird things. They don't give the Red Buff. I think Red Buff didn't go over to the support right there, which I probably they should have. But they ain't going for Lucario. He's going to try and stack up. Meteor Mesh to get away. Quite, quite easily. And looking back to top. So Lavita jungling for the left side. Yeah, they didn't get Red Buff all through the Gossy Floor. Let's run right here with the X Speed. What is this cross? I assume it's gonna be Stealth Rock and maybe Rock Tomb, right? Surely. Because that's going right here, charging up the... I actually don't know what's called again. I forgot what that ability is called. They're looking for the Chaos right here, but obviously Kapfu early game. 
Really not a lot of damage. Oh, it's Meteor Mesh as well, right? Is it Meteor Mesh? I think it's Meteor Mesh. Shingdi heading towards top path. And Kyo is a bit careful. He's dropping quite, quite low. Shingdi is right here. He's going to look for the Dueling Beat. He finds it. But he can't quite get the KO. Look for the last hit at least. Nice. That'll be confusing by Mr. Mime there. BKZ just trying to score five points. Can Shingdi this and get away? He's going for the Shenzi. Where's his focus band procced? One more Dueling Beat. Could be it right here. And there's the Dueling Beat. And they're also going to go for Mr. Mime now. That's a double KO. Lucario is here. Can he find the cup food? Doesn't look like it. He just used both of his abilities, and the Kapush is diving in. I think he should just maybe run away. There we go. He gets power punched into the face, but honestly... The Meteor Mesh misses! Lucario! What? What was that? I... He misses... How did he... He missed that Meteor Mesh. Point blank. And <laughs> the Kapush gets away, and Lucario is gonna go down. Ikurano here in mid lane. What does he have? Does he have Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb is level 4, right? Oh, he gets confused, though. He's going to get taken down. That's a one for one in the mid. EP is back now. Lucario looking for the power punch. Finds the Gossy Floor looking for the Meteor Mesh. It's not going to hit again. It's just out of range. And Oshin is going to claim this KO. Can he get away? No, this power punch at least connects. And EP is getting a nice counter KO for himself. Looking maybe for another power punch right here. Diving in onto the Edegos now. But not more casualties are being found right now. And there's the Rock Tomb. So yeah, Rock Tomb. And I guess Stealth Rock? Are we going to go Stealth Rock? It's gonna be such a hard game to like understand who's actually gonna win it. There's Rock Tomb, it's gonna hit Lucario, but here's Power Punch, gets away. Big blow into Eject Button, tries to go for Lucario, but it's not enough damage to take him down. It is not enough damage. Another Rock Smash goes in, and can they do something? No, they can't. He's running x -Scissor. Okay, he's running x is being called. Interesting. There's the Rock Tomb, it's gonna go down. <laughs> Race only level 6 right now. Of course, he's not jungling on that Dead Fox, so he needs a bit more experience. Sal on the chase for the Yoshifu. He could actually win this right now. He has Rep Buff, and he also has... Looks like he has Rapid Fire Scarf on. He has low of attack speed. Sal looking again for another Dark Pulse. Big Blows being charged because it's on the chase. But now we have the spawn on bot, and Oshifu's not there. This time, they're actually leaving Oshifu top. I mean, it's always good to leave someone top to make sure that this Pupita doesn't get all the experience, because he's not going to be there. And now Nosh is gonna go for death the power punch. There's a huge rock tomb going on the back lane. They get smashed by the rocks of, of Renji Rock as well. They're just getting rocked on. There's one, maybe, maybe oh, someone's gonna fall now. Slobo's gonna go down. Shobo's getting chased down. He's getting Xs out into the wall. They're gonna keep on chasing. That's two down for self no show. High five is not done yet though. They want to this Blissey too. They want the Blissey. They get the Blissey. They want Lucario too. Are they gonna get Lucario? Yes, they do. That's four KOs. And Renji Rock secured by high five. <laughs> that was a huge rock tomb, actually. Locking Lucario in that bad position. And then also the Reggie Rock spawning the rocks. There's so much rocking going on, I don't even know what to say. The Krasse. Though, maybe, you know, it's time to shine right here. Sal only level 8 still, so still not level 9. Because he didn't have a chance top against the Yoshifu, who's not really level 9. And no show again, very, very far behind. 23 and he's going for Lucario. They're going to look for this top push. 10 going, 11 going, I think. No, are they going to break this goal? They want to break this goal. Yes, they do. They break it to make sure they go in, and they also take down Slow Bro. He's going to fall. And they still have Oshifu Unite. So they're going to take this Reggie Lecky, and maybe they can actually push this one in. Are they going to go for their Death Fox Unite? They have Oshifu Unite? But we have a Trainer Tunnel for the self no show. We should be probably able to defend it quite easily. Pushing against. I mean, this comp is so tanky of no show. But they're looking for it. There's the Rock Tomb going down. Slowbro's kind of caught in it. Death Fox also lands. Can they go for something right here? Shobo's caught off position. Vic Blow's gonna miss though. Lucario's diving in. He gets Xs out instantly into the wall and he gets smashed by the Unite of Ushifo, I think. What's got used on him? Now the, now the fight is breaking out. There's Scyther diving in, but Tyranitar's gonna claim this KO. And this Tyranitar's gonna be strong killable now. The shield is not gonna matter against a Tyranitar. But he still can still maybe run away. Another Dark Pool is going to land. Edgos United to keep his team alive. Nice Xs on Rock Tomb by the Crusade. It locks down two. They get Terranata. They get Mr. Mime. Vigilek is getting united by Lucario. It's still on HP. And they get going to go down onto the sky. Crusade is also going to fall. It's a complete mess of a team fight at this point. Crusade is going to fall in the end. Another big blow is being exchanged. And that was. Uh, <laughs> what a team fight. Okay. High five. Really wanted to push this one in. They really, really, really wanted to push this one in. Sword Dance Scyther is going to take down his Veggie Steel pretty easily for his team. <laughs> the Crusher, man. The Rock Tomb Crusher. 184 for high five, 31 points for no show. And we have still 220 left for this Rayquaza to spawn. Again, high five. If they win a 2 1 right here, they're going to be first place in the group. So they really want this. Again, first place in the group instantly goes to the offline final. 
and they're gonna have a secured place in the top six. They don't have to do any more struggling if they win today, which is obviously very amazing, right? They will still have to fly. They still have to fight for first or second seeding in the group, but they're qualified 100% for the offline tournament, which I mean, all these teams want to go to. And only six out of 15 can make it. So you want to be one of those six out of 15 teams for a lot of prize money too. Vigilecki spawning now up top. And high five is just going to go for it. We have Krasa defending bot, which I like. Make sure that we don't just get counter scored on. But now she's actually around top side. They might just want to look for this fight right here. Shlingdi is diving in. Oh, Terence just barely makes it back to base. Big blows being charged. But no, she just runs away. They're going to clear now. And now high five. Michael for bottom push right here. Rock to lands on Lucario, who's stuck. Ixilza into the wall. He's stunned right now. He starts up the power punch. Goes for Krasa instead. And he's going to get taken down. Caught off guard, and now they're going to score a lot of points. But Scyther also claiming Tyranitar. No shows losing on both sides. Slowbro is also getting destroyed by the Scyther. And they're going to score. Rich Lecky goes in. A huge... No. No, 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 no. Did I just see a 5 instead of a 50 go in? Did I just see a 5 over 50 go in? Ah... Guys, you have to be more... I mean, if the Reggie Lecky is in, they're not contested. He should be a bit more careful when scoring. I'm pretty sure they just lost 45 points, but maybe I'm wrong. They just lost 45 points in total and experience. So that that's kind of bad, but they still have a huge lead right now. They're 300 points ahead. Obviously they're looking great, but they're staying up against the Trinitar for late game. Scyther drops very, very low right here, has to jump out. And Nosh was taking this fight, but the Stealth Fox is super strong right now. Level 13, has the Flame Charge, and Mystic Fire Plus. They're getting engaged on Trinitas down the, <laughs> the Crossle with a nice x that They take down four, and High Five is also going to claim this Ready Steal for the last final two minutes. Triple KO for the Scyther. And Ready Steal being taken. And this Rock from Crossle, guys, is popping off. Harry's going to look for the score right here. He should probably maybe get... No, Scyther's actually around. Scyther's going to maybe get that in time. Can Shingdi do it? No, he can't do it. Oh, just so close to him. He goes off, but he's already in a scoring animation. And he gets away with it. BKZ also trying to score on bot. But I think Nosho should be able to reach this one. Yeah, shit, they do. Ancient power's there. BKZ is going to run away with the throat chop. They're going to try and chase him maybe down. He has to be careful that he doesn't get stuck to a power swap. And uh, But yeah, they can't keep going for it. Blossom already dropping super low right here. And this time he's not going to find a lone guard chomp. He's getting rock tombed and taken down. Blissy Knight goes on Trinitar. This is the chance for No Show. Can they do anything with this? He just gets locked up by the Crusty Knight. Scyther's diving in onto Lucario, who's also dropping super low already. Edigos is going to keep everyone alive. Everybody have Mime dropping as well. It's only Lucario and Blissy left. Lucario, obviously. Yeah, it's only Lucario left now. Blissy also goes down. Yeah, does have the power punch, but Big Blow is here too. And he gets him with a basic attack, actually, in the end. I think the Big Blow ran out of time, and he gets him with a basic attack. A power punch actually almost got it, I feel like. It was very close. But even if they get it there, even if they lose Rayquaza, High Five still wins the game easily. So it doesn't matter who gets Rayquaza there, High Five is going to win out of this Rayquaza because they have no shields, right? They were all dead. If they respawn, they don't respawn with the Rayquaza shield on. And High Five is going to take the second game with a Rock Tomb Crusher. Draft number three, who's going to take this? Who's going to take this? Can No Show keep up their hope for being first place in the group? Or is High Five just going to run away? I mean, High Five looks like the much better team, right? High Five looks like the much better team. They're going to first pick the Dale Fox. They want the Dale Fox. And again, Slowbro being picked by Blossom with a Blissey. High Five again, going for Scyther three games in a row. And Ushifu is with three games in a row. Okay, so they just don't care. Let's pick those two Pokemon. And they're going to rock with it. Why not? You know, it's working with them, so... Is Nosho going to go Trinitar again? It looked very bad last game, I have to admit, so... An Aegislash? Nah, right? Did we, did we go Aegislash? She is not... I think it's quite fine over Pokemon still. And Serena! So we go full back to two, mid-2022, apparently. Aegislash and Serena in the same team. Man, that I haven't seen in years. <laughs> that one I haven't seen in years. It has been quite a while to see those two Pokemon on the same team. Interesting. And Aedagos, I mean, we see Krussel again. We see Krussel being locked in another time. That is, that is entertaining. That is quite entertaining. Alright, so we're going to see it's going back to the Greninja. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Get the hate items a bit. Do we see anything special? Not really. Just focus, body, XP, Sean Krasse. 
XP share party, Edgos, everything looks pretty normal. Deciding match number three, and it's been an interesting series so far, but again, high five looking like the team that's outclassing No Show. I do think No Show got a bit lucky in the first match. Not to say that they played bad. I mean, they just got kind of lucky. It was Garchomp's mistake there. Um, he's kind of just too big excited on that Pokemon, and he just got caught. So heading to the third match right now, we have a Jungle Greninja again. Together with the Blissey can always be quite, quite scary. Blissey Greninja with X attack does a lot of damage if they can find the engage in a team fight. And Ikora going again onto this Krasse. It worked very well last game, so let's see what he can do again. This time, No Show does have a lot more damage, though, so he has to be a bit more careful. Just gonna go in right here for this last hit. Who's gonna get it? It goes over to... I actually don't even know. I think I guess Slash actually got it, because he has a lot of points right now. Top side, EP is very deep. Can he get away with his Dini right here? It's getting very, very low. Has the focus band. It's gonna keep him alive. The Rock Smash is there for the Kapfu. And they're gonna win this 1v1. And now the Red Buff of Edegos is also gonna keep Kapfu alive. And they take a double KO for high five in the top path. A 2v2 double KO with the Kapfu and Gossi floor. That Red Buff is just so strong for the support in the early game. Nicely done by them. And OBK that can score his points as well. He's gonna score six. Starts taking a bit and he's almost level five already. He's gonna pick up the wicked blow very, very soon. So he's gonna be happy. And Shinji just diving in again. He looks for the berry. He gets the berry. And the Steenie goes down again. Oh, no, she's getting destroyed on top now. And they're all just gonna stick now. They can just stay here. They put over the Atarias. They're gonna score some more points. And high five. Oh, this is looking bad for no show already. It is looking very, very bad for them. And they're also getting invaded now. And Sai knows he's getting invaded. So he's just heading towards the left side, which I kind of like. He knows that Shingdi and Wushan are both in his jungle. So he just goes over to the left side. But looks like, looks like Oshifu knows about this. He's gonna head for the rep off now. Maybe he can spot out the Froker here. If Blossom goes down right here, this is such a disaster. This is such a storm right now. There's the Rock Tomb. They take out Blue Buff. And Sai is gonna probably get Eject Button on by the big blow. No, he's just, he's just chasing him down. They're just gonna chase him down. He has nowhere to go. He's gonna go down any moment now. <laughs> just gonna keep him alive. Oh no, wait. Can he actually get the KO? Cross it. Cross it gets it. Oh, this is bad for No Show. This is very bad. Wushan almost level. I mean, Shingy almost level. He's already at 8. Getting close to level 9. I guess it's Unipoof. He's gonna miss the dual wing beat right here. But what can the Steenie do? Can he get away? Another drop kick comes in. And he actually drop kicks back out. Shingy maybe a bit too deep right here. He's gonna get saved by the Edegos. Point Pop's gonna heal him back up. Big Blow is gonna hit Blissey. And he gets out alive. No casualty up upside on the top path right now. Big Blow's being charged again. They're gonna look for something right here. Sai does hit level 7 now. And he hits the Surf Power Spike. What can he do with it? Ray also level 7 already for this lane there, folks, which is absolutely massive. Knight X is all hitting Sal and EP at the same time, but they find the surf reset. They find a second surf reset. He goes in again, but Scyther... Oh my... There's no way he lives that. You can't even see his HP by anymore. That is so close. That would have been absolutely amazing for No Show if they also get more chaos there. Death Fox is going to 1v1 the uh, duo blade on down bot lane, dot bot path as well. And uh, he's going to almost be level 9 right now. He's actually going to get level 9 right here. He's going to score more points. He's gonna hit level 9. He doesn't want to score. He just goes straight for the Rage Eyes. Oh, 1 HP on that Scyther with that last basic double boost auto attack. He was getting the K on the Greninja. Can they get Rage Eyes right here? Yes, they can. Nice Rock Tomb there. Just blocking. No shot of this pit. And now Scyther's just diving in. He finds the Unite move. Can he get a reset though? Show was dropping super slow. Death Fox is also there. They're gonna get slower at least. And also, Eggslayer is getting taken down by the Death Fox somehow. Scyther diving in. But he can't find anything. He dropped super low already. Shane is diving in again. Another Rock Tomb lands. And Blissey just running around, being so confused right now. Almost goes down by just running back into the enemy team. I don't think he understood what was happening to him after that Rock Tomb. Entertaining, man. The Crusher. The Rock Tomb Crusher. Serena Knight is going to find one KO at least. But uh, he has to be careful not to just go down right here because Scyther is around and he's going to get taken down. So 1v1 one one in the end still. And Serena Unite move is gone. So I would say still win for high five. They get the Unite move out. They get a 1v1. One one. And another KO to their Scyther who is already level 11. He is level 11. Sai sneaks down to bot path. He's gonna score 24. I don't. I don't know if he has a tech bait or not. But if he has, then he's gonna get some two stacks right now, at least for free. And Aegis Slash is only seven and a half. He's so far away from level nine. And we're almost five minutes into the match. So high five again, looking very dominant. Blossom also level six only. Rock Tomb lands. They're getting Dolphin by the Sacred Sword. We're just getting one one by by Ushifu down bot path. He has no chance against that. He doesn't have full heal. And now Scyther's just diving in. He finds one. He finds two. Dave Fox all just cleaning up. And they're all just gone. They are all just gone. They lose top path, bot path. They lose Red Leki. Eh. Oh my god. They probably lost their Menta as well at this point. High five in complete control. In all three matches so far. 
looking absolutely dominant in the East group. They only lost one map so far, which was against Nosho, I'm pretty sure. I think they were 2 0 2 0 2 0, if I recall correctly. So they did lose one map right here, but they should have also won that. That's how strong High Five is in this East group. And they're gonna, if they win this match again, they make it to the offline final instantly. They don't have to qualify anymore. Would be huge for the Taiwanese team. Regilecki actually goes in! And Crusher scores 40 points! They're also gonna take down Reggie Steel, uncontested. They're too late, no show is nowhere to be found. They lose Regilecki, they lose their top goal points. They lose Reggie Steel, 266 to 60 points now. Ushifo say he's looking for the Ignite move, but he hits an unstoppable target. I think he tried to go for Greninja, who turned invisible. I know BKZ is kinda caught, so at least he's gonna fall. 1k or maybe for no show, at least he's still alive though right now! He's still alive. Now they finally got second down. Blossom is gonna fall. Now the Slowbury Knight goes onto Scyther, but the team can't follow up. Shobo does go in and the surf is there. This could be the comeback for the side of No Show. Can they do something with the Crusty Knight is being used? And they're all stuck in the Deathox Unite. Crusty with the Rock Tomb catches Blissey. Blissey's gonna fall. Slowbro's gonna fall. And Deathox just here to clean up with the Crusty. And No Show taken down again by High Five. Triple KO for the Deathox. Nice Crusty Unite move. Turning this fight around instantly. Level 13 Delphox now. A level 13 Delphox. For the side of high five. The highest level on no show are this arena. And Greninja actually also hitting level 13 now. So Greninja is still in this match for sure. If he finds a good team fight, the game can still be very, very, uh, can swing very fast. If he finds that one good team fight in late game with a Bliss Unite, a good X attack. But he has to be careful again. If the safe cut is not up, he has to be very careful about not getting punched by Yoshifu. I might break out on top, but Delphox is gonna be so. I feel like they have no really responses to this Delphox right now. It's gonna do so much damage. But Serena's diving in. Serena's looking for this Delphox, as I just mentioned. But oh, it's Scyther Unite. It's getting punished. He does use Unite, but he's gonna get taken down. Edigos is also gonna fall. And High Five is suddenly falling apart. Three are down for High Five. And no show take a team fight win. That's because Crusher was actually on bot path. They fought 3v4 up top, outnumbered, and they just went for it. Crusher did score some points with Ushifu, I'm pretty sure, but. Weird for them to take this team fight then. If they're not even kind of split up right here. Oh, but they're gonna they're still gonna for this Reggie. They should be in time, right? Yeah. And it's gonna be another Reggie steal. Can slow I guess let's see this one away. We have Ushifu right here. Has the big blow and Blossom is just trying to block them off. Exodus the Aegis Slash into a wall. Reggie Steel is dropping low. There's the big blow and bam. Charged up. They get a Reggie Steel at least. And another, <laughs> another Rock Tomb lands. What's gonna happen right here? This could be the final fight, maybe. Unstoppable is blocking a lot of their stuns. So BKZ is gonna fall right here. Rock Tomb is gonna land. But they can't follow up on it because Deathfox says to clear top path. High Five making some beat decisions though, right now. They're taking like fight that we shouldn't be taking. And Sile hitting level 15 on this Greninja now. So it all comes down to him. This game is not over yet. This game is not over. Greninja level 15. What can Osho do right here? They also still have the slow reunite, which can be huge. Scyther kind of caught off guard. He has to be careful to just get Serena unite move, but there's the full here being dropped. Does Serena have unite? Yes, he's going to catch Scyther, but I think Serena is going to fall right here anyways. Edicus is going to keep Scyther alive. Now the team fight is breaking out. There's a rock tomb landing. Bliss unite goes on to Greninja, but it's kind of bad. They can't do a unite move combo now. And they're stuck in the Death Fox unite. Greninja's diving in. Can he find a reset? Doesn't look like he can. Can he find a reset? No, he gets Ushifo punched. No, uh, I guess gets Death Fox. It's take. I mean, what just happened? I, I don't even know what to cast. I just lost my words because I don't even want to happen in this team fight. But No Show gets aced somehow. <laughs> I don't know. No Show gets aced. The Serena getting caught off position. Then Bliss Unite being way too early. They couldn't use it for Gorinja Unite to go in. Then they dive back into the Death Fox Unite. I don't know. No, but High Five, I mean, they deserve to win this, right? Off the Crusher as well with the two Crusher games they take down no show and they're gonna be first place in the east group they take down the two japanese the two korean teams they take down all of the four teams going 4-0 and high five is gonna take the first place spot for now in this group they still have to fight for seeding but they are qual they are our first team qualified for the offline tournament so congrats to high five amazing performance still by them they had amazing games throughout the uh, first stage of the champions league we have the second stage coming up as well in two weeks and then again, the offline finance in March, where they will be part of instantly. So, congrats to High Five. Crusher victory.